Hi, this is Eos, and today I'm going to show you how I made this. Or more specifically, how I made this self-ducking reverb that turns itself on via an envelope follower that is a free Max for Live device. You can use any reverb that you would like and I just happen to be using Valhalla Room and all the rest of it is all Ableton built-in devices. Okay, so here's what it sounds like dry. <laughs> We're going to see how that's different from just adding a reverb with, say, like, this is the same reverb that's in here. And how that washes out the sound compared to this. All right, so let's get into it. start off by taking this reverb it's got two seconds of reverb but we're gonna make it so you can modify this for whatever you're gonna use it on so control G to group it then we're gonna create a dry chain rename it dry on the reverb chain we're also going to need a utility, if I can find it, there it is, we're going to need a utility, this is what actually turns on and off the reverb, this chain is always going to stay at zero decibels, but this is going to stay at minus infinity, alright, on the dry, we're going to add a go to max for live, and choose envelope follower, And then we're also going to add an Ableton compressor. All right. So right now we don't have anything routed. But we got to set up the envelope follower. So I'm just going to copy the settings that I have on this other one. But let's do it from the start. So... So we're going to map the envelope follow to the mix of the room. Oh, I remember. Yeah, okay. And we're also going to map it to the gain of the utility. by opening it up right here and mapping it to gain. Okay, so that's extreme. I only want it to go up to zero decibels, so I'm going to drop it to 50% right here. So this is bounds for where you're routing to. And then right here we have gain to change the level of input into the envelope follower. We have a rise control. So turning this up makes it rise more slowly. Um, and then fall is how, how slowly it falls. So you can create a longer tail. And that's also largely due to the fact that we routed this to the mix of the reverb. If we just mounted, routed it to the gain of this utility, we would still get this washing spillover, but we would just, the tail would be controlled by the decay of the reverb more than the envelope follower. <laughs>
All right, now here's the final step is we're going to sidechain the dry signal to this reverb signal so they don't occur at the same time. We are on smooshied. And then you got to choose, I'm going to have to go in and choose the effect rack which is this second one that's not named. I'm going to choose dry post effects. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn down the attack. And then you can push it out of the way as much or as little as you'd like, and you can even change this amount but with automation over the course of the riff. All right, so that's pretty much all, but now let's have some fun and grab a Max for Live LFO plugin. We're gonna change this to random, smooth it 100%. And then we're going to map this to the ratio. So then I might, in order to capture what's going on here, I might insert an audio track, change it to resampling, then solo this and record. Since I'm going to get a different result every time, I can keep recording new results until I get one that I like. Or combine multiple sets of results. And I can already tell that there's something I don't like about this, and that's when the ratio goes down too low and it doesn't get pushed out of the way at all. So I'm going to change this bottom bound up to 34%, so it stays more up here. That's actually still too low. Let's go to 50%. 40. All right. Open the mic. All right, and then I might do this a couple times and find the best, just duplicate the channel, control D, and then record another version. And then I can take multiple versions and chop them up however I want. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please go check out some of my music and other tutorials.